With the worldwide pandemic affecting our everyday lives as well as racing, it's time to get back to racing for rounds three and four, the final rounds of the Hydro Turf Best in the West series presented by Hot Products. Hello, everybody. I'm Dave Arnold. I'll be joined in the pits with all the winner interviews with Mike, the Mahler Yellich. So sit back and enjoy some high-speed watercraft racing. I'm Craig Campbell from Lake Havasu City. I am here at Parker at the La Paz Campground. We're enjoying the racing today. The hitch hauler is very easy to install. It takes just a few seconds. I spend a lot of time loading and unloading my stuff by myself, and it works out just great. I have a rolling rack that it goes right up to it, and I don't have to ask anybody for help, so I get to keep all my friends like that. The hitch hauler is very versatile. Got a receiver on the back where I can hook up my regular jet ski trailer, and so now I can carry around three skis on my trailer, one on the hauler, and a, one or two in the back of my truck, but I guess I gotta buy another jet ski. Huh? I'm Barry on the Long Beach, California RB components. On the 169 is Sean K. out of time. California, Rival for Watercraft Match. Josh West out of Temecula, California, Maximus Slippery, Thor, Cryo Heat, and Chrissy Vaughn out of Volcano, California. In the Ski Pro MGP, Cooper Sheck Snyder, Asperia, Mom and Ann, IPD Graphics, Commander Industries, 658 is going to be Ian Roberts out of Sparks, Nevada, Commander Industries, Risen Wild, Don Kennedy, he just won his earlier moto there, out of Brentwood, and Kyle Krieger on the 72 of Discovery Bay, and 7 1, Race in Mason Deets, and he had a DNF in Moto 1. All right, here we go. And off and running. I guess he gets the whole shot. Sheck Snyder had it in the earlier Moto 1. But a couple different classes here. And it's going to be Roberts, Sheck Snyder. Raymond Berry's going to get his lead in his vet GP. Snyder there. K. Mata goes by. 72, Kyle Krieger. Here they come by one more time. Roberts. Close toe, though. Sheck Snyder. Oh, I see people arguing their way over to Coach. Sean came out of there's 72. Kyle Krieger. Kennedy in the uh, Citizen One. Looks like Mason Dietz trying to get a redemption from his earlier moto. Roberts, our leader, comes by with Sheck Snyder in tow. Chuck Snyder had uh, Moto 1. See what's going to happen here in Moto 2. If he can get by Roberts for the overall. Otherwise, Roberts get the overall. Raymond Berry.
So it's all going to come down to Roberts and Sheck Snyder for their overall for their class. Barry, his class. And we'll see the overall. There's Roberts. Sheck Snyder still trying to catch up there. There's Raymond Berry on the number five R&B components. Robert's got some more lap traffic to deal with. Let's slow him down. Oh, no! He subs it, goes the wrong side of the buoy, and Sheck Snyder goes in the lead. White flag is out. A dejected Roberts. There's Raymond Berry. Yeah, and there's the checkered flag. Sheck Snyder. Kamada. So we'll let them figure it out there. There's Mason Dietz and Can Kennedy. And Raymond Berry. Novice lights on the line here. Corbin Stone on the 22 out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. 125 is going to be Josh Simon out of Corona, California. River Shore Motorsports Group. 171, Max Christian, San Clemente, California. Carrie Mulvey, she's going to be on the 218 on Lake Havasu. Whole Oak Race Products, Tom Ski Jet Trim. 515 is going to be Ty Smith out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Go Fast US, Chuck Speed Shop. Triple Nickel, the 555 at Maddox Haynes. Lake Havasu, Arizona. TC Freeride, Works Racing, Jet Trim. Jeff Gocek on the 824 at Lake Havasu, Mom and Dad. And 949, Eric Colson on Lake Forest. And off and running. Oh, man. Maddox Hayden's getting a little off there. He's going to have to take the long way.
All right, here they come around. All right, here comes our leader around the 5-1-5 there, Ty Smith. Ty's out of the Lake Havasu City. Go Fast US. Chuck Speed Shop there. 824, Jeff Gopchek. Carrie Ann Mulvey, Josh Simon, Maddox Haynes. Man, great shot by Maddox Haynes. He came all the way from getting pushed off last place outside up to running in fifth place. Pretty impressive. Race three, Sports Spectre Line, race four, two staging. I got, five, I got 515, 515 with the highlighter green. Here comes Gary Ambo. Oh, a little bit of banging going on. Between Maddox Haynes and Josh Simon as Haynes gets by. There's the 665 there, Trevor Jensma. Parker Porter out of Yorba Linda, California. And there's our leader, Ty Smith. Maddox Haynes on the move. Two laps to go is a sign from the sky. White the flag. (laughs) 
Carrying it, Mulvey goes by. She gets the white flag. Race three on the line. Race four in staging. It's what a great one, Ty Smith. Man, what a great race there. Maddox Haynes fought his way all the way back up from a last place start. Very impressed. As the rest of the field is going to come in here. And Barker Porter. Well, it's, it's crazy, and I see that he was one of my little trophy court kids back in the day. Great to see him out here having fun on the water. Porter family, red light. Spec. All right, on the North 23 is Tony Parker at San Diego. Dottie Shine, Jet Pilot, Fly Racing, AC Freeride, NS Precision, Public and Performance, Pro Watercraft, Ronnie Parker on the 169, Reno, Nevada, Rhino Hub, GirlsDad.com, Natalia Giuliano on the 661, Bakersfield, Cal Concepts Racing, Jet Trim, Hill Racing, and Doug Cardenas on the 916 out of Lone, California, Ultimate Watercraft Performance. Flag here. Red flag. back at it and we're going to get this one going here sports back once again getting ready to go out the line oh man it is warm but you know what i'm not at a dirt bike track i'm not an off-road track
So once again, if anybody's got a uh, jet ski battery, be much appreciated. Ross said he's even willing to pay pandemic prices. No, i <laughs> No, if you can loan us one, we can get you, get back to you. Charging system uh, went down on one of our, uh, of course, Marshall boats. So it should run long enough off the uh, battery. So it'd be much appreciated. All right, here, right here on the restart here in race number three, sports spec. Ronnie Parker out front, Natalia Giuliano. And Dove Cardenas. Once again, if anybody has an extra battery we could borrow, it would be appreciated. Come see Ross Wallach. So once again, this race was not halfway completed at the time of the red flag. So we have to run the uh, complete race restart over. There were two laps into it during the accident. We got Tony and the uh, ambulance getting checked up, getting cleaned up. They said they're going to put a uh, Snoopy Band-Aid on him. I knew he'd really like that. Hate to see that happen to one of our racers, but... Uh, Good thing is uh, he should be okay. Speaking of Parkers, we got uh, Parker out front, Ronnie Parker out of Reno, Nevada. A rides for Rhino Hub and girlsdad.com. Tell you, Giuliana, behind the Cal Concepts Racing, Jet Trim Hill Racing. And you can tell that nice painted ski, that's what... Uh, Dion does. Does an awesome job doing all these custom paint jobs. And there's a uh, Dove Cardenas. Got the loaner boat from uh, Tony who's sitting in the ambulance right now. That's how big of a heart Tony's got. He let another racer who had problems with her boat. So today, hey, borrow mine. Go out and have fun. Race in my class. That's cool. Coming up next, we got uh, race four. Ski Yamaha hey, four stroke you, lights. All right, here we go. Ronnie Parker gets the checkered flag. Takes the win on the restart. Natai Giuliano slowly was reeling him in, but uh, ran out of real estate. Once again, if you got a battery, we'd appreciate it.
Craig Campbell from Lake Havasu City. I am here at Parker at the La Paz Campground. We're enjoying the racing today. The hitch hauler is very easy to install. It takes just a few seconds. I spend a lot of time loading and unloading my stuff by myself, and it works out just great. I have a rolling rack that goes right up to it, and I don't have to ask anybody for help, so I get to keep all my friends like that. The hitch hauler is very versatile. Got a receiver on the back where I can hook up my regular jet ski trailer, and so now I can carry around three skis on my trailer, one on the hauler, and a, one or two in the back of my truck, but I guess I gotta buy another jet ski. Huh? All right, next on the line, Ski Yamaha four-stroke lights. First up, we have number four, Casey Ketchu. Number 17, Dylan Dutemple. Number 24, Shaney Seidenberg. 27, Sebastian Girello. 38, Tyler Ward. 88, Jake Pierce. 141, Reese Geis. 155, Corey Curtis. And ran out the field, we have 706, Colin Kaplan. All right, getting on to the next race, the Yamaha four-stroke lights. The two cards ready to go. These guys should be setting up, getting ready, and there it goes. It's a green flag start. It looks like Jake Pierce in that lead. Core Curtis on the outside. Ooh, a little water. To Man, I tell you that water hurts when it gets splashed in your face. Look at that, they're close racing right now. Pierce on the outside, now he's on the inside. He's working his way towards that front stretch. As you can see, they're making wide, wide turns, keeping that splash to a minimum and keeping that horsepower hooked up in the water. Remember, this is the Yamaha class. You can buy these uh, production units right off the Yamaha showroom floors. Go to Yamaha dealer now. Because <laughs> this is the Yamaha class right here. You could be in this. So we got Pearson lead on the back straight. Hey, Curtis. Try to make those smooth lines. But once you get out front, Jake Pearson knows how to run for that checkered flag. Curtis, he's going to have to chase him down now. All right, coming down that front straightaway again. So you can see they're going a little wide. It's not about burning off your turns, but keeping the speed up. You gotta have that exit speed. As you know, see, they don't have, a lot of, they don't have to worry about a lot of the turns because they went outside in. A lot of the guys go right at the buoy. You gotta learn how to be like a race car driver. Like a, you know, basically an Indy car driver, any kind of racing, motorcycle racing, whatever. It's about keeping that speed up, being fast in turns, and Jake Pierce has definitely got it. He's fast in those turns. Leaders are on the back straightaway. Looks like uh, Curtis has got a GoPro on his helmet. Looks like uh, Jake Pierce has uh, grown up a little bit too. <laughs> Becoming a young man now. All right, getting in some lap traffic now. Oh, look at this. Julian trying to get by Curtis. That Curtis still in that second spot right now. So Julian Arillo trying to make those turns. Got close in that little, you know, switchback area where you can go inside out, outside in. But then he lost his momentum here. And Curtis kind of pulled away. So they're on the back straightaway again. As you can see, the water is getting really choppy now. See, all these guys are trying to do, the more you get that ski to hook up, the more forward momentum it will go. And that's the key. 
trying to find that water. Get it hooked up. Oh, uh, you saw that little berm shot because they had to make a tight turn there. Sometimes you got to you know, make some tight turns. But the idea is about keep momentum going forward. So Pierce. And then. Oh, look at this. I'm watching a, a race out. Look like it's trying to get by a lap rider. Is that a lap rider right there? Uh, he should be getting that uh, that flag. All right. Third, trying to get by that lap rider. <laughs> that rider still there. You know, you got to understand, if you're not in the race, you should be racing. All right? That's all I can say. He's going to get by him. He's trying to get by him. And there you go. Now watch how fast he, he'll be gone. You don't see any more lap rider, do you? <laughs> All right, Curtis getting into the lap traffic also. And this is when the water gets really choppy. Oh, Pierce made a mistake. So, of course, Curtis in the lead. I saw that. Pierce made a mistake. Oh. So, Julian... Trying to get close. He saw that Pierce has been a mistake, and Pierce rarely makes a mistake. So for Corey Curtis to be ready and alert. So now he's getting by another lap rider. Curtis is in the lead. So leader on the back straightaway, working his way now towards uh, the shore. Julian on that 27. Now he can't get by Pierce, not close enough. So Corey Curtis on the 155. See their turn, see that? The guy's gotta mimic that, that's the key. Keeping the speed up, that's what he's doing. It's not about how much water you can splash up and make it look cool. Team managers aren't looking for that. <laughs> Tell you that. So Pierce, solidly in second right now, made a bobble. Like I said, no time to kick yourself in the pants because you still have to maintain second now. And never know, Curtis could make a mistake too. I don't want to say anything, but of course Curtis could make a mistake also. Very unlikely, <laughs> but you got to understand these two guys ride at Body Beach all the time. They're both have a suit residence, you know. That's kind of the cream of the crop right here. See how he's coming outside to that checker boot, and there you go. End of the race, Corey Curtis and Pierce in that second spot, well earned. Made a little mistake, had to pay for it, but then Julian. Gets that third spot and the final podium spot. All right, rest of the field coming on in. Yeah, they're tired. I see Do Tempo or 706, our lap rider. <laughs> All right, next on the line, Vintage X2 Open. First up, we have the X22, Guy Venturi. The number six, Andrew Sincere. The number 007, Nick Nasty Verdone. The 99, Sterling Holden. The 109, Charlie Sims. The 121, Chris Heimrich. The 223, Louis Vendito. And running out of the field, the 814 of Steve Garling. Added to these lists, the Vintage X2 650 Limited. Number 17, Joe Henry. Anderson. Number 42K, Craig Campbell. The 155, Jason Triss. And the 209, Jacob Fleming. All right, remember in this class, we got two classes going on. Open and 650 Limited X2. 
Sarda says, get ready. He's about to drop that rubber band. He better be on it. Looks like a clean start. Oh, my God. Look at that whole... Oh, what a view of the start. Look at that. I think Charlie Sims on the inside. Oh, Charlie got cut up. I think that's what... Sincere in the lead. Oh, great shot from the drone. Picking up some lines. Ooh, a little bobble right there. I saw that. Looks like Sims on that second spot. And Andrew Sincere... Got the whole shot coming out on that number six. A little traffic in the back. Great, another shot of that drone. So sincere, riding the, I would say, XC Open Machine. Same with Charlie Sims. So don't forget, we do have two races in here. Or two different classes, as I say. So Sincere also with that whole shot, he's got a good run boat machine. I mean, it, it, it looks like it just jumps off at the start. Nice and clean. Charlie, he is a uh, Lake Havasu, I'm sorry, a Lake Elsa resident. Charlie Sims, a former, actually, former X2 and vintage world champion. So Charlie been around the sport for a long time. So sincere, and then a little slum section. Another great shot from the drone. Charlie's still trying to work those lines. Sincere, it's basically one and two. There's three. That's the number 22, X-22. The guy Ventini, of Venturi, sorry. So that's it. At 8.14, that's Steve Gerling. Now, as you can see, the water's starting to get a little choppy now. Leaders are on the back straight right now. Looks like to be a beautiful day at Lake Elsinore. Oh, look at that drone shot. See, Charlie. Oh, Charlie going to the outside. Sincere going to the inside. So Sincere is still ahead of Charlie Sims. You can see that water getting real choppy now. They're on their second lap now. That front straightaway getting real choppy. Trying to keep that machine in the water, keep it hooked up. Okay, they're on the left side of the race course right now. Now, see, that's a perfect shot of the drone. Trying to get that fresh water. Sims kind of catching a little bit on that backside. 22 sitting firmly in that third spot. So Sims goes to the outside again. Trying to make a move on Sincere. There's Sincere right there. He's got the total stock looking X2. That's fast as hell. <laughs> Put it that way. <laughs> now you can find these in Craigslist. A lot of these things for sale. X2s. Kawasaki X2. I'm sure you can find it on Marketplace, on Facebook, whatever. But they're all over. They're 007. Nasty Nick. You gotta remember though, it's all about hooking up. The key is get that thing hooking up. You don't want it bouncing around. Every time it bounces, you're losing what an eighth of a second. So just think if you bounce 20 times, that's a lot of seconds. It's about lap time. Okay, you can have some fast stuff, but believe me, fast stuff doesn't turn. You gotta have something that turns and absorbs all the motion of the ocean, I guess should, we should say, <laughs> or the motion of the lake. As you can see, Sincere, his machine doesn't bounce that much. 
Watch the way it does him bounce. It's, it's, it's hooking up the whole time. He's got the pump. Same with Sims. He's got that thing hooking up. That's the key. Traction. And they're still, still trying to keep those turns nice and smooth. Sincere. That's your leader right there. But Sims still right there. Trying to make... Oh, even third. I saw third was right there. So Sincere looks like it's just another day of this cruising on the lake. But it's not because he's got Charlie Sims behind you. <laughs> See, Charlie's boat does really hook up nice. Look at that. He's going to go to the outside again. But you got to remember, it's lower riders in front of him now. And that's when the water gets a little choppy, too. Look, uh, Sincere's got to negotiate now through the slower traffic. Trying to take a different line, trying to hook up. So sincere on the inside. Sim's still right there, trying to take advantage of the lap right. Ooh, he's really close now. Real close. The slow rider lets him go by. Sincere knows that he's in a range. He's got Charlie Sims behind him. They better watch out who's ever in front of them. So Sincere, I would say, weighs about, I would say, at maybe 200. I know Charlie Sims, what, buck 40 maybe? Buck 35? <laughs> so Sincere had to pull a lot more weight, but he's in that hole shot position. Like I said, you can probably find an X2 online somewhere probably get a good price and you can start racing right away or just enjoy the watercraft that's the key enjoy the coolest sport in the summertime oh sincere's got his hand up oh, i think that's the end of the race so sincere sims and then there's a 22 of guy van atiti on the cowie he's from lake havasu thin glove, not sacrifice that with a bunch of padding that wrinkles up in my hands, causes blisters and calluses. The stitching and the quality of the stitching in this area where I spend a lot of time squeezing the boat, there's just enough here to give me a solid grip on the boat, a solid feel for the throttle. That to me is the part that sets them apart from the other gloves I've worn so far. Here we go. Race six. Paul Cutter on the number four out of Livermore, California. Eric Swick on the number 20. Todd Haig out of Redlands, California, 71. John Levy out of San Clemente is appearing in the 508. And Darren Schneider out of El Cajon, California on the 939. as they're off and running. And they're fighting for that hole shot out there as they come around. And looks like it's going to be superior. No. Yes, it is. Swick into second. Darren Schneider into third there. Coda. On the four, followed by John Levy. 
and Todd Hick. All right, here they come around as a period off the outside split. Here comes Swick trying to catch up to him. He sees a period. He's been training there, trying to get low. There's John Levy, makes his way by there. John Levy out of San Clemente, riding for Jet World Power Sports in John's Jungle, Jet Pilot, Trilly Designs. And uh, looking for a uh, reptile as a pet. Well, John's the man to talk to. Call him Jungle John of John's Jungle. Zapirian comes down across the stripe there. Swick about the same distance he was last lap there. Here comes Darren Schneider. Paul Coda on the number four. And you can see Haig now starting to battle with John Levy. Don't forget, uh, Coach T's up for lunch right now. It's 12.30. It is the time to grub on some uh, tri-tip or brisket or pulled pork. Oh, my goodness. The best. He's got hot dogs, hamburgers. Need something to drink. We also got the uh, shaved ice guy in the house and ice cream. So after you grab lunch, go grab a shaved ice. Cool down. Had one yesterday. They were pretty epic. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. This is just incredible. Coach T's barbecue. It's just not barbecue. It's award-winning barbecue. So that's what fuels all these racers out here on the course right now. Like David Superior. He had barbecue, and look, he's winning his race. to go is a sign from the sky there for Superior. Swick. Paul Kodak just went by. Here comes our leader up on a little bit of lap traffic there. Move aside there, Ted. White flag is out. 
for Zavirian. Dave Zavirian comes to us from Tucson, Arizona. He rides uh, for uh, GoFast US Destination Hydration. And here comes the checker flag for the 508. David Zafarian, Go Fast US Destination Hydration takes a win with El Cajon, Cal- or, I'm sorry, San Diego, California's Eric Swick. And it looks like Darren Schneider back there out of El Cajon. He'll get third for that Maxima Racing Oils, Rhino Power OGO ODI Grips, and Jet Trim as he gets ready to make that final turn to see the checkered flag for himself. Seven on the line. Ski Women's Novice Lights. We're going to have Mackenzie Sheck Snyder on the 14 at Oak Hills, California. Eminem Marine. Zoe Chambers on the 34 out of Lake Havasu. Go Fast Racing, Mom and Dad. Annabella Roan on the 103, Chula Vista, Next Generation Racing. Reese Geis on the 141. Scottsdale, Scottsdale Cycle Center. Dad, Troy Lee Designs. Ultimate Watercraft Performance, Jet Pilot, Jet Trim Impros. ODI VP Race Fuels, Riva TC Free Ride. Oh, that smells good. Sabrina Cook out of Riverside, California on 327. And Alyssa Musselman on the 777s on the Jet Tech JC Racing, Pro Watercraft, Gazzard Tech, High Speed Industries, Jet Lift and Jet Trim. She comes to us from Lake Havasu City, Arizona. off and running all right here they go outside inside who's going to get it here outside Swick gets the whole shot Is that Brina Cook out of Riverside gets the whole shot. Musselman in second. Ron Kirkus in double zeros there. Because he checks Snyder, followed by Holland Harry Gocher. Kerry <laughs> Mulvey on the 218 there. So you're getting caught up behind some traffic.
So Sabrina Cook goes by with Musselman in tow. Ron Kirk is Kenzie Chuck Snyder. And I saw Shaney Seidenberg had some issues out there with the uh, course marshals and were able to get her back up and running. So Cook, Musselman, top two. There's Kirk. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Kirk is the Kenzie Shook Snyder. Here comes Alan Airy. There's a the 34. Zoe Chambers. And Sabrina Cook comes around one more time here, getting the courtesy markers. Halfway there, halfway home. Oh! Kirk is getting a little physical there with Mackenzie Chick Snyder. Goes a little wide, she gets by. Now this is the battle for the Vets class, Vets lights. Harry Gocher, if he gets by Ron Kirkus, he takes the overall. If Kirkus stays where he's at, He'll do it. Did third and fourth just change positions? Here we go. Cook, two laps to go. Musselman in second in their class. Here's Sheck Snyder. Third. There's Shani Seidenberg. And the white flag comes out. White flag comes out for Kirkus and Holland Harry. Hey, by the way, if you need your house painted, Holland Harry painting, 
he's got to pay for a wedding. So, people, let's paint your house. And the win goes to Sabrina Cook, Musselman, and Sheck Snyder. And here comes to the side, the Vetsky Lights. Kirkus, Holland Harry. How about that for the 34 there, Zoe Chambers. One for one, Reese Guys. And we'll figure this out in timing and scoring. One of the best cost-effective ways to get into jet skiing is to simply get a Kawasaki 550 or 440. A great way to make it better and a little more rideable is stuff like our rear sponson, our front sponson, the ride plate. You can even style it up with one of our handle poles or even the hood. This is just a great cost-effective way to enjoy jet skiing. All right, next on the line, Vintage 550 Ski, the number 95, Rachel Cummings, the 155, Corey Curtis, the 476, Andrew Sincere, and in this case, we're going to put the 650, 750s also in this race. So the number four, Casey Kilchu, 007, Nick Nasty Verdome. All right, on the line, we got Vintage 550 Ski, also 650, 750. Yamahas and Kawasaki's all mixed together. There we go, somebody get the start. <laughs> it looks like Sincere one more time on that 476. But then Paul Gijon right there on that 300 square nose, so that's a 650. Gotta remember those 550 mods are really fast. They're, they're very light though too. So you, you got uh, Sincere with the whole shot. Paul on the outside, he's got that square nose, that 300 Yamaha. Remember, we got two classes racing in one race, so we do have two classes going. So that's a 550 in the lead, but that's a full mod 550. So then we have the Yamaha Limited, basically the 650, 750s out there, but I see this right now. I just see, oh, Corey Curtis trying to make a move on that 550 with the handling kit. In that third spot. So sincere. He looks like it's just another Sunday ride out there. But he's hauling ass. <laughs> looks like an, another beautiful day at Lake Elsinore. Great lake. But G John, right now, Paul's looking back going, dang that little kid. Oh, good shot, Drove. Looks like Court Credit's going to do the outside inside. Staying out of that pump wash. Going a little tight right Oh, he finds a total hole in the water. And it looks like he submarined it. So we're still on that second place rider. Palm at 300 square nose. So sincere down the front straight away. God, looks like another Sunday ride for him. Paul in that 300 square nose Yamaha. 
Setting firmly in that second spot. And I think that's number four. That's Casey in that third spot. So another great shot of the drum is going to show you the line that these guys are picking. See, they're not going right at the buoy. It's about keeping up the momentum around the buoy. So a leader on the back straight away right now. So Sincere looks over and says, huh, he's still not close enough to nothing for me to worry about. Now you've got to remember, Paul, he's a veteran rider. He's been doing this for years. He's, what, in the, at least at least 50 years old. So for him to be doing this, unbelievable. The guy is in great shape. I'll tell you the jet ski and stuff. It should be, like, forget the gym membership. Go buy a jet ski. <laughs> you'll, you'll get way more out of it, that's for sure. You know, and I'm sure all these guys have a gym membership. They're doing both because they are, they want to earn races. That's the key. Oh, there's number four. So that's catch you. Then the number seven, Nasty Nick. That's double O seven. As you can see, the water is getting pretty choppy now. Trying to find the line, trying to be comfortable, because all you're doing is you're you're leaning, supporting your back. It's not like when you're riding the dirt bike, you can sit down and just sit down. No, your whole body is your mechanism. That's why all these young kids are all ripped and everything. When you see the young jet skiers, yeah, they didn't go to the gym. The jet ski got them ripped. <laughs> So first, second, third, and fourth right there. But in your first, Sincere again on that Mod 550. And as you can, as the race leads on, you can see which ones are getting a little tired. They're starting to straighten their back a little more. Not having that forward momentum, you know, attitude. You can tell which guys are pushing and which not. I mean, they're still pushing. But you gotta remember, it takes a lot to be able to go gonzo with that many laps. But you gotta have the intensity there and you gotta learn the intensity at the same time. I guess you gotta learn how to dish out pressure as well as take the pressure. So Nick Verón trying to make a move, but not close enough. Sincere, still look like it's a Sunday drive. Now, as you can see, he's straightening his back now, but he's got a lead. He's just, uh, like I said, Sunday cruise. He's got a fast ski. Really, no one's there to catch him yet. I see the 300 still trying to make a move. See, the 550 and the 650, 750 are two different classes. They'll be scored accordingly. But Sincere, kind of just saving that motor, saving that ski. Remember, he's got to ride it another day, too. So leader's on the back straightaway. So Sincere goes to the outside this time. They both go to the outside. That's really a tight turn right there. And this is a tight turn, because now you gotta get ready to set up and get on this straightaway, because you got another left, and then a right, and then a left, and it's tight, it's tight. This left turn is real tight. I would say it might be one of the tighter turns on the course. And then you gotta do a tight right.
So leaders on the back straight one more time. So this here looks over his shoulder, not being threatened at all, just keep up the same pace. Bring it home. So catch you one more time on the number four, the Yamaha Square Nose. You know, made a name for herself in the early 90s. But then 90 to 95, now they came out with the round nose in 06. That's the difference. It, we call it the square nose because that's what it is, a square nose. <laughs> And with the win, Sincere. And then T. John with that second spot. And we'll go with that third, comes across the line, that number four, catch shoot. And then Nasty Nick Rohn on that 007, get that fourth spot. Next on the line, Ski Grandmaster Stock 1500. Number nine, Charlie Martinez. The 9W, Derek Mendoza. The 29, Marty Wells. The 55, Charles Anderson. The 109, Charlie Tim. 169, Ronnie Parker. 453, Greg Matta. 601, David Fitzer. And 661, Dion Giuliano. All right, looks like they're all lined up, ready to go. There we go, quick start. I see Charles Anderson. Oh, looks like a red flag start. Got to call them all back to the line. Somebody saw somebody jump or something going on. Let's do this again. Okay, got them all lined up one more time. I guarantee he's gonna let that band go fast this time. Yep, and they're gone. Oh, looks like Greg Bad Dog Mata on the borrowed four stroke with the whole shot. Gotta remember, yesterday he raced the Henri two stroke, but he only finished third last time. So look, now he's on a borrowed ski in front. <laughs> Maybe he should borrow skis from now on. <laughs> I would. <laughs> That's been dozing in that second spot. So Greg Mad Dog Mata, looking pretty smooth. He's liking that four stroke. Guarantee he won't admit it, but. <laughs> it looks like Mendoza right there in that second spot. So Mad Dog Bata out to a pretty good lead right there. I think that, what, Charles Anderson in that third spot. So they're all riding Kawasaki 1500 right now. And this is a ski that you can also buy on the showroom floor also. So this is their uh, version of the new four-stroke. I see Charlie Soon's back there on that Yamaha. And I, he's the only Yamaha in his class. So he's actually down on power, sitting at five, four spot. So one Yamaha and the rest four strokes. I see Fitzer, uh, he won on Saturday, back on that third spot. So Mad Dog Mad out of Vegas. Well known for uh, doing a lot of races up at Pahrump. So Mendoza, he's, uh, he's known for, uh, be honest, he brought a lot of good sponsors into a lot of good racing. So 
We're happy to that guy. And then Fitz, remember, he won yesterday. And then Sims finished third. He's in fourth now, but he's the only one on the underpowered Yamaha. <laughs> I mean, that's only 1,000 cc's. He's raced against 1,500s. It's kind of like two-thirds full. <laughs> Charlie, what are you doing? <laughs> but Mad Dog on the Lona Ski program, and he's looking pretty comfortable on that Lona Ski. In the 1500s, man, they are fast stock. Believe me, they are fast like they do. Went 63, 65 stock, so that's pretty fast. So there's Charlie all by himself on that Yamaha Super Jet four stroke. So Fitz are on that 601. Sims on the 109. As you can tell, Charlie doesn't change his stance. It's like a lot of guys are changing their stance now because you got to get that pump ticked up. But you can see Charlie just stays in one position. Oh, great shot from the drone. You can see the different lines the riders are picking up. Trying to stay out of that pump wash. That's the key. You do not hook up in the pump wash. So Fitzer, oh, trying to make a move. Uh, Mendoza sitting in that second spot. See, Fitzer, he's trying to find that smooth water. Usually about the second or third lap, it gets choppy. So you're definitely searching. You got to do different lines. Stay out of that pump wash. Looks like third, or second, third, and fourth. Pretty close. The Mad Dog looks like he's gone. And then I see Charlie Sims coming back in there on the picture. In that fifth spot. So Mendoza on the nine. Fitzer. Charlie Sims. Looks like Charlie Anderson's out there. A lot of these guys are getting used to that weight, too. Uh, the new machine right here, there's 1,500. It weighs about 550 pounds. So you got to get used to... Uh, it pulls really fast, too, believe me. It might sound like a lot of weight, but... That 1500 motor will go 65 miles an hour really fast. You better be hanging on. <laughs> better be ready for it. A nice shot from the drum again. There's Mendoza still hanging on. He uh, he saves his shape by. Uh, he, I was told that he uh, does road biking, so he does a lot of that. Oh, looks like there's a race in the back trying to make it as our drone captures the track. I can see the water pretty choppy now. So Fitz is still trying to get by Mendoza. Those guys are working it right there. I think that's a battle right there for second and third. And these guys are well over, what, 55 years old in the master ski class? So 55 years old, they're still riding stand-ups and competing. They get them at their all. But I guarantee you they're going to sleep my babies tonight, though. <laughs> A little bit of Advil. But Mad Dog Mata looks like he's really comfortable in that four-stroke. One thing about the four-stroke, it doesn't, like, jab at you like two stroke you got to be really throttle control conscious but on the four stroke you can be a lot smoother Mendoza looking pretty tight uh, basically hugging the lines that want to get past Mad Dog still at the uh, charging position uh, right or down Right there, the white flag is out. So Mendoza on the number nine. 
And Craig Matta, as we love to call him, Mad Dog. We've known him for a long time. Good guy. Happy for him. Got to ride the new 1500 uh, four-stroke and win on the new 1500 four-stroke and on a borrow four-stroke. <laughs> So uh, with Mad Dog, what, he's going for a victory lap now? <laughs> so in that second spot, Mendoza. Oh, and then Fitzer. Good race. Time to get the oxygen and uh, probably some gel caps or something, you know? <laughs> you know, I'm just kidding, you guys. Good moto, guys. Good moto. Pro Rider Watercraft Magazine, the premier print and digital publication for personal watercraft enthusiasts, delivers up-to-date content from manufacturers and aftermarket pioneers and features racing, recreational riding, PWC fishing, tech tips, youth highlights, product reviews, freestyle, and more. Whether an industry representative, recreational rider, competitor, or a weekend warrior, Pro Rider Watercraft Magazine offers fresh insight and what's happening in the most exciting water sport on the planet. Subscribe and follow for a Rider Watercraft Magazine on Instagram and Facebook. All right, next on the line, Junior Ski, 13 and 15 lights. Number 27, Sebastian Durillo. Number 38, Tyler Ward. 418, Tyler Kennedy. 706, Cullen Capelin. And 712, Dane Duda. All right, race director says, fire him up. He's ready to go. Oh, there's a winner for last race. Great Mad Dog. And they're gone. Junior Lights, 13-15. Oh, looking like Jarella with that whole shot. On the number 27. On the outside, also we got number 38, Tyler Ward. It was the inside line and the outside line. But Jarello keeping everything smooth. Watch you get come out, hit that checker flag buoy, and then to make the right turn to keep up with the momentum. That's the key with this watercraft. You got to have that good uh, exit speed. At the same time, keep the water down to a minimal and keep those turns smooth. Keep up that momentum. You're always looking ahead and basically checking, make sure, because you're, you're planning for three turns in advance, always, on watercraft. You gotta be, gotta be there. Jarrell looking really smooth this time. You can see a couple jet skis, both, that's in the background, of course. Makes it look a little closer, but they're way back there. So Ward, looking pretty good for the time we called his name out. So good start for him. But Jarrell, look at that. He's already second lap. He's already gone. But Ward's still there. It's third. We'll get a number on that. That's the 418. Tyler Kennedy, as you can tell, he's changing his foot, going back and forth. Remember, all these stand up riders have that back support on them. Here's 706, Colin Kaplan. I think this is the second time where he raced another race, too. I think it was the, what, the square nose, right? The Yamaha. 
And you can find these on Craigslist, Marketplace. Look around, ask the dealers. The Yamahas are still out there. These are the two-stroke Yamahas. Now they have the four-stroke Yamahas. Remember, it's all about momentum. You got to get down that tray. You know, gravity is the key. The lower you get, what's going to happen? The faster you're going to go. So, Jarrell making some nice lines. Well, there's Tyler Kennedy one more time. Trying just to keep it smooth. And there's a 706. Colin Kaplan. And Jarrell, look at that. Look at that line. He's coming in, coming towards us again. He's kind of liking that choppy water, isn't he? He's sure making it look like it's easy, that's for sure. A little berm shot there, a little water. But see how wide he comes out? And then he makes that right turn, keeps up that momentum, and then he's got a perfect sight set on all the way around now. It's not about sharp turns, it's about momentum. So Ward, still looking pretty smooth. Like I said, the first time we called the team out in this race. So it's a good start for him and a good run, second place. But the go fast machine, it's going fast. <laughs> That's what I can say about it. See how he keeps that handle pull low? Keep that body low in the turns. It's all about gravity. The lower you get, the faster you can go. He almost bobbled right there, but saved it. As you notice, he went wide again. Set up for that turn. It's kind of what you're all doing the whole time. You're setting up for turns. You're setting up the whole track. You're learning it. Ward's still looking good in that second spot. The key is you gotta ride a little jelly, you know, a little gumby-ish, you know, that's the way it is. You can't be tight because when you're tight, it actually sieves up your body. So you gotta be a little jello, a little gumby-ish, you know. Don't be pokey, be gumby. <laughs> And there's four out oh, there's a, some recreational riders out there going, what the heck? <laughs> there's kids riding some jet skis on some buoys. All right, they're coming down. I tell you, when you come out of that slalom section, and then you come out on the front straightaway. The water is really rough right there. I mean, these guys are making it look easy, but it is rough right there. Especially when you're on the beach and you see the waves come in. Oh, there's a great shot from the drone right there. Got a good shot of our leader being real smooth. Now, you watch it. He's not being violent. It's all about keeping smooth, keeping momentum up. And also, and if you can be smooth and keep the momentum up, it doesn't wear you out. So that's what he's doing. He's like kind of saving energy. And there we go, winner. Sebastian Girolo out of go fast. It looks like Tyler Ward will get that second spot. Wow, he really did a commanding lead on that one, didn't he? And there's a 706 of Colin Kaplan. So that's the end of our race.
on the line, Junior Ski 10 to 12 Lights. Number 12, Tanner Haig. Number 13, Landon Colton. Number 26, Bryce Chambers. 103, Sebastian Roman. 105, Weston Berry. 515, Ty Smith. 555, Maddox Hayes. 713, Tanner Wright. 752, Gavin Hogart. 752, Gavin Hogart. 770, Mason Hayes. And 777, Landon Musselman. All right, Junior Skis, 10 to 12 lights, getting ready for the start. So we have Kawasaki's and Yamaha's in this. The smaller kids get to have two holders. Oh, the 105, oh, hole shot. It's all about hooking up. Gotta get that foot in, that's what he did. You can hear the parents in the background. So Weston Berry, father a well-known jet skier and champion. Oh, real close. Oh, as they meet up. But they, they, they got like a little option. One tick goes to the outside, one goes to the inside, and then they meet up again. And look at this, it's a drag race. First lap is over with. So Maddox Hay getting caught in the pump wash. He's definitely working for it. So the 105 getting away, but Maddox, oh, look at that outside line Maddox Hayes is using. He's trying to find flat water wherever he can see it. Weston looks behind him and goes, man, that guy's right on my tail. So it's 10 to 12 year olds going at it right now. Watch this. Hey, he's going to the inside. Barry to the outside. Okay, they're going to meet here. It splits like a little swamp section. Let's go. Oh, that was close still. But Maddox, oh, Maddox Hayes, a little bobble, get, but gets back up. Gives uh, Wesson a little breathing room now. But Maddox Hayes doesn't know how to give up. <laughs> and then the 515 Ty Smith coming into the picture. And then Tanner Wright. So the 515 on the back straight away in that third spot. Looks like the water's really starting to get choppy again. Okay, there's the 26 of Bryce Chambers. Okay, we got third place right here. As we're coming down the front straight away, oh, they're pretty close. One, two, and three, right at it. There's the 26 in that four spot. Oh, great shot. These guys trying to see out of the pump wash. That's the key, side to side. You don't want to be behind a rider because you'll end up finding, uh, like Corey Curtis found out, there's a hole behind every jet ski. You just don't want to find it. All right. Oh, look, he's setting them up. Here it comes. He's setting them up. I see it right now. Trying to get that momentum, that slingshot. All right. They're going to meet again. Remember, one went to the outside, one went to the inside. Maddox Hayes. Oh, and he sinks by. Set him up. Ah. That was a good move, and he kept it real tight on the inside so the guy couldn't rebuttal and come back at him. Basically just cut his line off right there. So Maddox Hayes, look, he's already a buoy head now already. 
So he set up Weston Berry, but he knew what he was doing. Maddox Hayes been around for a little bit. I mean, they're only 10 to 12 lights, but they got a lot of experience for young old kids. And sometimes you can just see young talent anyhow. They're like natural born. So Maddox Hayes trying to get by a slower rider now. Going to make the move to the inside. The number 12. And that would be Tanner Haig. So he gets by Tanner. So Maddox Hayes down the front straightaway. One more time. Definitely can hear the parents getting into it. Looks like another fun recreational day at Lake Elsinore. What a great lake. Doesn't look that small. Okay, that really isn't. <laughs> Just a video makes it look small. But there's another great shot of the drone, our leader, Maddox. Hey, unbelievable. This uh, young man, young lad, I would say, he's only, what, 12 years old. So what's your kid doing at 12 years old? <laughs> So Ty Smith in the Psalm section now. It's a yellow flag being flown. That means slow down, caution, something's up. So be ready. Oh, Maddox going to take a little breather right there. So we got a rider down right now. We got race course marshal trying to protect him. So he's going to have to slow some traffic down. And their main job is to protect the rider that's down, what they're doing. So as you can see, the rider down. So we got, got two course marshals on there. Oh, it's about protecting the rider. And what it is also, you're not supposed to do any kind of passing too during the yellow flag. So that'll be up to the scorekeeper to judge that one. But your winner and your, your leader coming across, Maddox Hayes. They were trying to do second place. That's gonna be, looks like Ty Smith. And then Weston Barrow get that third spot. All right, coming across the finish line. And the number 26, the reason he's so happy, because he got a first and a fourth, and that's first place overall for the day, Bryce Chambers. Next on the line, Ski Novice Stock, 1500, number eight.
Colin Renner, 156, Jonathan Levy, 171, Max Christian, the 209 of Jacob Frewing, the 511 of Jacob Lou, 521 of Nick Giles, and running out your lineup, the 712 of Dame Duda. All right, novice, stock 1500 on the line. Here we go. It's a fast rubber band snap. Looks like Cullen Renner and Fleming on the inside. Looks like the water's pretty choppy already. Looks like Renner on the outside. Fleming on the inside. So Fleming gonna take the inside split. Renner on the outside. They're gonna meet here in the middle. Who's it gonna be? Oh, that's pretty tight, pretty tight. It looks like Colin Renner still got the lead. But the water looks really, ch oh, Fleming bobbles there. That's Renner basically gave him some breathing room. But remember Fleming won the first race too. Colin got third. So is it gonna be a chase or is uh, Colin Renner just gonna walk away with this? That water looks really choppy. Looks like a lot of people are out in the water now. So Colin Renner, you're local. He's out of uh, Marietta, Temecula area, that area. Oh, Fleming trying to make the move. Fleming just looks a little smoother with his turns. Oh, saw that, he pushed the buoy right out of the way. Oh, look at that. Cullen Renner still says, hey, I'm gonna, that's my turn, I want it. Fleming, he doesn't like that turn at all. He's, that's the second time he's bobbled at that turn. So it's a good shot of the drone. So Cullen Renner out front, trying to take advantage of the, I wouldn't say it's flat water, but being out in the lead. But then there's Nick Giles in that third spot. He's a regular salty crew from San Diego. So you can see Fleming trying to make the difference, trying to go on the inside, going where Renner isn't. So oh, it looks like he's gonna take that inside line one more time. So Fleming goes to the inside, Renner to the outside. I think Fleming had uh, other plans for Renner on this one. Oh, but not yet, Renner still got it. But Fleming trying to take the inside. Now remember, they're going to take the front straightaway. Oh, look at Fle oh, Fleming with the move. Let's see, drag rate sell the first turn. Oh, it's going to be. Oh, Fleming makes Renner sit on it and wait. Oh, Renner almost out the boat. And Fleming is gone now. Nick Owl in that third spot still. Basically just watching the action in front of him. Wish he could be up there. So Fleming pulling away now. He is pulling away. There's a shot of Nick Giles uh, getting onto the back straight away. Okay, there's Renner again. But he looks over and he sees Fleming's gone. So Fleming made two mistakes that turn and then made a winning run at it and proved to be a good run at it. And now he's in the lead. So Renner in that second spot, but look where Fleming is already. Two buoys ahead now. So Colin Renner in that lonely second spot. Good shot of the drone. Nick Giles right there. So Renner on the back straightaway again. He likes that outside course. Fleming likes the inside. It looks like every lap Fleming gets a little faster. He's kind of liking this uh, Lake Elsinore jet ski course. 
A lot of recreation going on here at Lake Elsinore at Launch Point. So Fleming just right in his laps now. They're trying to be smooth. He knows he's got the lead. So Fleming looking pretty smooth coming on to the off the back straightaway. Now he's working his way towards the shoreline. Now Fleming went to the outside that time. Oh, Fleming down. Oh, Bobble's right there. It's Colin Renner. Oh, he did close. He's not close enough. The capitalize on that. Oh, maybe he still is. I see Fleming. Oh, maybe Colin Renner can make a run at it. But I already see Fleming pulling away again. So, Colin River wasn't close enough to capture that uh, mistake by Fleming. And Fleming still in that first place. So, Colin Renner had an opportunity, but he wasn't close enough. And that's what kind of happens. So, remember that when you're chasing somebody. Looks like the wind came up a little bit here at Elsinore. Another good shot of the drone. And here comes Fleming one more time. He's gonna fight off a uh, downed rider. There's a checker flag, Fleming. And then Colin Renner, still right there, respectable. But Fleming's gonna come home with the win. Expert GP, Wyland and Reading on the number 24 at Lake Elsinore, Asu Watercraft, Cali Protectives, IB Graphics, Jet Tribe, Ross Products, Jet Renew Design and Noon, Feature Performance, Jet Trim, Cooper Chef Schneider on the 28. Mom and Dad, Pander, Peyton Hill out of Aceville on the 48, Watercraft 58 SS Sirs, Danny Lake, BJ's Wax Racing. Jake Pierce on the 88, Lake Avenue Super Watercraft, Jonathan Fan on the 110, Hot Products BG, Warehouse Hangar, and Out of Laguna Night, California. Jake Pierce off to the inside. Cooper, Sheck Snyder on the outside. Sheck Snyder with the whole shot. Followed by Pierce. Peyton Hill, Seth Sears, Jonathan Fan, and Wylan Reedon.
All right, we got Mr. She Mr. Sheck Snyder to the rescue of the umbrella. Actually, I think uh, DJ you pushed it enough. He can get it. That was a valiant effort, DJ. And look at this, Sheck Snyder, Pierce. Peyton Hill, Seth Sears, Wyland Reedon. Cooper Sex Schneider, a man on a mission. Well, the young man of Jake Pierce on his pro force chasing down that commander. How about John Fan there doing a great job? Something happened to. Uh, Seth serves there. again. Here comes our leaders again, Cooper Sheck Snyder and Pierce. Race 14 on the line, 15 and 16, be ready. There's Peyton Hill on the 48 machine there with John Fan and Wyland Reed in tow. Seth Sirs. And then here comes our leader, Cooper, Sheck Snyder. Cooper out of Asperia, California, right from mom and dad. IPD Graphics, Commander Industries. Then you got Peyton Hill there. Let's see. Jake Pierce. Pro Watercraft, CSM Racing. Then Peyton Hill, Heinen, Pro Watercraft, BJ's Performance, Jet Pilot, Tim Barty Designs, Line Lock, Ross Products. Then John Pham, Adelaide Laguna Nagel, Hot Products, b and Warehouse Hanger. And then Seth Sears. Seth out of Canyon Lake, BJ's Wax Racing. Cooper Sheck Snyder and Pierce go by one more time.
look at this. Oh my. Look at this. Oh man, that was a good battle. Cooper Chuck Snyder and Pierce just going at it. Lap traffic and all. Man, these guys are having a good time. They were looking at each other. All right, coming around here with loud traffic in front of these riders. Chuck Snyder and Pierce get by Seth Sirs. White flag comes out for Cooper, Sheck Snyder, and Pierce. What a show these guys are putting on for sure. Expert Ski GP earning every lap out there. Sears and Fan, but here comes Sheck Snyder and Pierce, Jake out of Lake Havasu, Sheck Snyder out of Asperia. Man, a ride of a lifetime. Here we go for the checkered flag. Lap riders and all. One lap for Hill, one lap for Fan. One lap for him, and it's going to be Cooper. Sheck, Snyder, and Jake Pierce. What an incredible race. Absolutely awesome. Now we've got uh, Scam Lights, Sebastian Garello on the 27 out of Lake Havasu, Go Fast U Explosion, Jet Trim, Quakey Sense, Motul, Bell Helmet, Scott H2O, Concepts. On the 155 is going to be Coy Curtis out of Lake Havasu City, TC Freeride, Jet Pilot, Hydro Turf Works Racing, 60 Helmets, Federico Demolition, the Triple Nickel, that's going to be Maddox Haynes, Lake Havasu, Arizona. And he rides for TC Freeride, works racing, jet trim. And the 6 oh, or 706, Colin Kaplan out of Scottsdale. Ski Parts Limited, Easy Ski Hellers, Vibes, Wake Surfing. And 812, Matt Rawlings, riding for Happy Heating and AC. Recording now. All right, there they go. Off and running. This again is the scheme at your lights. We'll see if they come around and see who's going to get the whole shot here. There's some Gorello. So Curtis Gorello two.
comes Curtis. Oh, I'm sorry, the 5-5-5. Five, five, five. Gorilla, I got that wrong. Hollings. Five, five, five. Eight, one, two, there. Fifteen, fifteen. And team. Coy Curtis goes by. Maddox Haynes on the triple nickel. Curtis just pumping those laps out. Maddox Haynes. So people going over there getting those tiki ices. Reese enjoying one. There's Gorello on the 27. And got a battle going on here. No, that's the leader going by there. White flag. One lap here, sorry. Gorilla on the 27. Gorilla on that uh, Kofash US. Team. Love seeing all our little Havasu grommets out here. Doing such a good job. There it is, the win. Checkered flag, Koi Curtis. Yeah, they got the lappers in between there, but it's going to be. Uh, Five, five, five. Maddox Haynes with a great run. Coming around here soon. We're waiting for him. So, Captain, there he is. A couple of lap riders in between. Thank you.
Pro Rider Watercraft Magazine, the premier print and digital publication for personal watercraft enthusiasts, delivers up-to-date content for manufacturers and aftermarket pioneers and features racing, recreational riding, PWC fishing, tech tips, youth highlights, product reviews, freestyle, and more. Whether an industry representative, recreational rider, competitor, or a weekend warrior, Pro Rider Watercraft Magazine offers fresh insight and what's happening in the most exciting water sport on the planet. Subscribe and follow Pro Rider Watercraft Magazine on Instagram and Facebook. Josh Simon is uh, out of Corona, California, River Shore Motorsports Group, Dominic Kennedy, Kennedy Crane Inspection Agency, Scat Track, Joey's Marine, Rhino Power, Specialty Motorsports, Phil's Diesel Clinic, Tony's Lucky 10 Trucking, m m Performance Marine, Interstate Truck Center, Craig Granich, Bay Area Concrete Recycling, Dave Trash Designs. Then you got uh, Jet Coat Check, sponsored by Mom and Dad out of Lake Havasu. You know, I want to thank everybody who's come out here. Round four of the Hydro Turf IGSBA Best in the West series presented by Hot Products. Big thanks to all the sponsors that make this all possible. TC Free Rides, the Pro Watercraft, the Bomber Eyewear, JC Racing, Oakley, Kawasaki, of course, RPM Enterprises, and Ross. Simon, Kennedy, and Kopchak, top three. So one more race still to go here.
So Josh Simon takes the win. Here Kennedy is going to take that spot, and Kopchak will wrap up third. Surf City, but when we come to town, it becomes Moto Surf City, where the horsepower meets the surf. This is the Hot Products Huntington Beach Moto Surf and M Pros Free Ride, featuring a multitude of categories, including Pro GP, Pro Free Ride, Pro Am Runabout GP, including amateurs, vintage classes, and the junior racers. Come on down and witness from the pier some of the hottest racing action on the water. Sanctioned by the IGSBA, are you ready for this epic Power Sports annual event, Moto Surf and Free Ride? Including a live stream broadcast, all the great action where closed course racers and free riders unite. Don't miss out. Come on down and join the action. Register today at RPM Racing Enterprises. That's www.rpmracingent.com. Get involved. All right, race 16, Jacob Fruing on the 209. Here's Welling Corp, 28 McKenzie, Sheck Snyder, Oak Hills, California, Eminem Marine. Sabrina Cook on the 327 on Riverside, California. Triple Sevens, Alyssa Musselman on Lake Avenue, Jet Tech, JC Racing, Pro Watercraft, Gasket Tech, High Speed Industry, Jet Lift, Paul Cota on the number four at Lemore, California, Charlie Martinez on the Buena Park, California, Definite Delivery, Eric Swick on the number 20, San Diego, California, Zaperian on the 508, Go Fast USA out of Tucson, and Monty Hunger out of Lake California. The second time is going to be the charm.
And there they go. The second starts the charm with everybody jumping. Good fair one. Oh, somebody taking a water sample. Jacob Frewing is going to get the whole shot there. Some muscle in. Here comes Swit. And Superior. Oh, little whitewash down there. Sabrina Cook. Paul Coda. The Vrooming. Oh Musselman. You know, I've been seeing Bill. Uh, it looks like uh, we got some cool stuff from H2O Works Design here. It's the most awesome. I know Harry uh, Gucci was telling me he got those best water shoes he's ever had in his life. I highly suggest you uh, pick some up.
All right, two laps to go here. Frewing as he comes by. Next time he'll see that white flag. Well, white flag is out for there. Sabrina Cook gets it, and she's going to be right in front of Fruing. So let's see. If he gets by her, it'll be a checkered flag, so it should be one lap short. Coming down the wrist, feel good. The white flag, Swick, Snyder, Kenzie, check Snyder there. And here comes Jacob Fruing, winner, winner, chicken dinner, takes the last race of the day. Tony Parker, drag yourself to the line, my friend. All right, let's get Tony and duct tape him to his ski. Muscle Man comes by there, the triple sevens. David Superior. Well, it's going to wrap it up here. This has been the Hydro Tour Best of the West series presented by Hot Products. Say a big shout out to RR Productions, Throttle Junkie News, Easy Hitch Holler, and Dirt Sports World. Check us out on social media as well. We'll see you next time on the Water. <laughs>